Welcome to this tutorial on how to color grade footage from the command line using Python and the DaVinci Resolve API. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alex and I'm on a journey to help as many people in leveraging digital media. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of enhancing your footage with precision and efficiency. If you're excited, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Color grading is a vital step in the post-production process, allowing you to manipulate the colors and tones in your footage to evoke specific emotions or create consistent visual style. With the power of Python and the DaVinci Resolve API, you can automate and streamline this process. Before we dive into the color grading magic, let's make sure that we have everything set up. First, Make sure that you have Python installed on your computer. You can download Python from the official website and follow the installation instructions. If you need assistance with this step, I have a video that walks you through the process. So feel free to visit that video that I'll link in the description below. All right, with everything installed, now the magic happens uh, with the script that we're creating today. So let's take a look. So now we should have the API installed and we should have Python 3.7 or later installed. Once you have done that, then we can proceed with the script. The first line is the shebang, which is going to tell our script um, what interpreter to use, in this case, Python 3. Uh, the second line here, or the third line, is going to be the foundation uh, import. It's acting like a module that is going to prevent us from having to repeat ourselves every time that we create a script from the DaVinci Resolve API. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So the foundation is basically importing the DaVinci Resolve script and some other smaller uh, in importance modules that we don't necessarily have to use. But uh, again, this is something that we use repeatedly over and over again when we're coding the API for DaVinci Resolve. So it's better to just create a script. In this case, I called it foundation. And then uh, from there, we just uh, call these methods without having to uh, code them every time. All right, so here we are. We're going to define a function that we're going to call MKDS apply grade. And we're going to give it a parameter with a default, which is going to be OT, uh, which is going to stand for orange teal. So let's take a look at the script itself. So if the grade is equal to orange teal, and of course, in the future, we could add several different grades so that you have a list of grades, uh, your favorite uh, looks that you have, the visuals that you have defined prior uh, to creating the script. And so uh, you can use the script for multiple different looks. So if the grade is orange deal, then we're going to use the path to the DRX that uh, I have defined here. So the DRX is basically a file that holds the, um, the grade with all the node tree that we have defined. And like I have prepared in advance so that we don't have to spend time doing that. But you can create your own looks and your own power grades, and you can save them or export them as main.trx or whatever name you give it, but as a DRX file. In this case, we're calling one main.drx. We saved it under the tutorial folder, and that's the path that we're giving to our script. The grade mode is the second parameter, and then we have the actual items that are gonna be found under the first video track in our timeline. Um, as you can see, this method we're going to call from our timeline. So um, how do we know that this method exists? So that's what we would actually take a look at the documentation to be able to uh, easily identify what are the methods available for us. So let's take a quick look at 
an easier way than the official documentation that comes with DaVinci Resolve because I'm sure that you've seen it and it's not friendly. So let's take a look at uh, an easier way to do that. All right, so here we are. And uh, this is the cheat sheet that you can actually purchase uh, from alexthecreative.com. And basically it simplifies the scripting documentation for the DaVinci Resolve API. What it has is a search box. And if we take a look at our script, we can see that what we need is uh, the list of items that are in the track. And let's say that we don't remember this part. So what I would do is just say item list or items in track, item list, item list. And you can see that it starts uh, filtering all of the available methods and we know that we're calling it in the timeline so here it is get so if I click there then I am taken to the actual um, part of the documentation that deals with getting the items list in the track and it gives us also a little description of what actually we're going to get and what that means and whatnot so get item list in track so that's what we're calling here we're getting the list of items that are in the first track that happens to be a video track. All right. And so once we have the items, we can iterate over those items one by one, applying the grade. So if we go back to the documentation and we just don't know how to apply the grade, we just type grade and it's going to filter the different methods related to applying grades. And so I'm just going to be using the application of the grade from a DRX. So apply grade from DRX, the path, the grade mode, and the item. So we also apply that one to the timeline. Again, the reason why I have this CD is because I imported it uh, from foundation as CD here. So CD, timeline, apply grade from DRX, and it basically assigns it to a variable called applied. And if applied, then it returns true. So we can just call that function. So we declare the function here and then we call it with, of course, the grade OT. And let's save that and then let's run it. I have the uh, timeline here with one clip. And what I'm going to do is just call that script. So let's take a look, Python 3 and then the name of the script tutorial .py. as soon as i hit enter what's going to happen is that uh, the script is going to run and it's going to apply hopefully the orange teal drx that we have saved uh, as a grade so let's take a look and sure enough that's exactly what happens so we have a complex node uh, or a complex node tree that is, uh, it has all sorts of things and I'm preparing in advance, but it is a, uh, a grade that it is uh, an orange teal treatment in this particular case. But uh, of course we could create a dozen different styles and we could just uh, apply them depending on what our preference for that particular project would be. And so you can see how incredibly strong this uh, approach can be because not only do you call it directly from uh, DaVinci Resolve, but you could automate this. And so you could be sleeping and you're applying grades to your footage, something that happens very, very frequently for production houses, which is that they receive all the footage and they have to ingest all of that and then they have to do dailies and those dailies like take forever to render and to actually go one by one and what what normally happens is that they end up like just applying a lot and uh, still it takes a long time to actually apply the LUT to different uh, clips and then try to render those out. So if you do it this way, not only do you have the ability of doing a more complex look, uh, that not necessarily has the limitations of a color lookup ta table, but also on top of having a DRX as opposed to a LUT, you actually also get the flexibility of doing it automatically while you're not even in front of the computer. All right. 
congratulations. You've successfully learned how to color grade footage from the command line using Python and the DaVinci Resolve API. With this knowledge, you can enhance your post-production workflow and unleash your creative potential in ways unimaginable. Keep experimenting and pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for our channel for more exciting tutorials. Remember, beautiful and impactful visuals are just a few lines of code away. So happy color grading and happy Python scripting. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.